Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever been called to do something that you don't feel qualified to do? Do you sometimes feel inadequate, unequipped, insufficient for the job? I know I do. I can usually think of plenty of other people who could do a better job, who are better qualified, who have more expertise than me. But when I point them out to God, he smiles and says, yes, but I didn't call them to do it. I called you. My strength shows up best in your weakness. And when I do it, sure enough, God gets the glory for it. When things work out according to his perfect plan, I know it's only because of him, not me. And because there's no way I could have done it on my own, it's obvious to everyone that it's the Lord who had his hand all over it. Sure, that project could have been whipped out by someone who knew what they were doing, but they wouldn't have had to depend on God like I did. That's been true over and over in my life. This is also what happened in the life of Gideon. Though his name meant mighty warrior, he was really just a scared farmer. The Midianites kept destroying Israel's crops, so Gideon was hiding from them and threshing wheat in a wine press when God called him. He didn't have any special training. He didn't have courage, and he didn't have an army. But once he was sure that God was calling him, he allowed God to use him to rescue his people. My favorite part of Gideon's story is when God decided that Gideon had too many warriors. We don't know how many Midianites and Amalekites there were going up against them, but the Bible describes them as numerous as locusts, and their camels without number as the sand of the seashore. Gideon started out with 32,000 men. But the Lord said, The people who are with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hand, lest Israel claim glory for itself against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. (laughs) Doesn't God understand human nature? So he whittled the army down to 300 men. 300 against an army as numerous as locusts. That's crazy. Then God says, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. So when the Midianites fled in fear, everyone knew that it was the hand of God, not the strength of Israel's army that won the day. God stripped Gideon of any chance of claiming the victory on his own. He does that to us sometimes too. Why? Because he wants us to do things by his power alone and for his glory alone. Because we've got no bragging rights. It's all him. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.